Hello guys, in this lesson we want to solve a programming exercise. We're gonna find the sum of the first n term of this series. Let's write this code in the normal way, then convert the code to the functional one. First of all, uh, we want to create this element and sum this item together. First of all, create a for loop because it's gonna do for the number of item in the input argument. So for let i equal to one, let us start with one, then i plus plus until i less than n it's just a normal for loop and before the for loop let's define the sum to zero and here we need to set the sum to use plus assignment operator to i multiply by 3 because if you check the numbers the first one is 3 plus 1 this is 6 plus 1 this one is 9 plus 1 so it's i multiply by 3 plus 1 and let's set this to less than and equal to n and at the end let's return sum and use two fixed to convert the number to two decimal point string and here we need to use one divided by this number and if you check for the first time the for loop will be i to one and one so let's start it with zero and I think it works because at the first run the i is zero and here zero multiplied by three will be zero and one divided by one will be one for the next one the i is one so i so one multiplied by 3 will be 3 plus 1 is 4 so it's 1 divided by 4 oh there is a mistake here let's move i plus plus after the loop condition and save the code that's it we solve the problem with this code let's convert this code to functional programming style I just comment this code and here I just want to create an array keys in and put it inside separate and put it inside a split operator like this and here I want to convert this array which is 1 to n to the sum of the series so reduce and create parentheses accumulator and current item and return accumulator plus uh, 1 divided by current item multiply 3 
plus one and the default value for accumulator is zero and two fixed two and return this value let's check the result by press ctrl s Oops, there is a mistake here it's gonna be a y n dot keys and let's run and you see it passed but the difference from the regular code is that this one is functional and, there, and it's a pure function and there is no side effect so try to code in functional until next exercise bye bye